City, thank you. Well, we've taken our newscast on the road every single month to celebrate seven decades of News Channel 11. But today, October the 26th, marks 70 years since our very first newscast. News Channel 11's Clarice Shaley spoke with former WJ, WJHL reporters over the years. Those of you who have been dedicated viewers may even remember some of these familiar faces. The station studio has changed since Rob Pratt worked here, but the memories remain. For the young anchor and reporter in the 90s, Rob Pratt, Eyewitness News 11, Blountville. Rob Pratt told many stories, but one sticks out. Boo Boo, the bear who wouldn't budge. A series he did about a baby black bear stuck up in a tree in Telford. Sort of reenacted from bear's eye view with his camera what the bear might have seen as he encountered a neighborhood dog, and it reminded me that while you cover the big trials, you cover important people when they come here, some everyday event sometimes can capture people's imaginations. And if you tell that story well, it helps you connect with people. We're working to make midday more than just a newscast. Tony Treadway was a former assistant sports director turned anchor in the 80s. One of his proudest moments was broadcasting a gubernatorial debate in Johnson City. And it was very exciting to be the first doing things. And that's what always turned me on, is let's just push the envelope and see what else can happen. While they remember the people they met during their time at WJHL, both say the most important aspect to celebrate is the work we do every day. Thanks for making us a part of your evening. I cherish the, the opportunity to be part of WJHL's history. It's certainly a linchpin for communications here in Northeast Tennessee and Southwest Virginia, Western North Carolina. And just to play a small role in that was a wonderful thing that I'll always remember. And to me, that's what being a news journalist was about. Showing people conditions and lives outside of their own, helping them understand that, and often bringing people together. In Johnson City, Clarice Shaley, News Channel 11.